Tony Stewart, our current champion, trying to pick up where he left off. Look at Kyle Busch there sideways again in that 18 car. Well, he's driving really defensively right now. He's trying to keep Jeff Gordon behind him, and Jeff is working him over. Look at that. Jeff's going to move him up out of the groove and get by him. Well, Busch is around. Can he save it this time? Oh, there you go. He does. He saves it. But there's a Jeff, Jeff, car Jeff Gordon's outside. upside down. Jeff Gordon's upside down. And Kurt Busch's car is destroyed. Oh my gosh. Jimmy Johnson's car destroyed. Track crew quickly on the scene to aid Jeff Gordon. On the radio, he has told his team he is okay. Yeah, I see him. I think I can see him moving. I, th I think it, it, it's it's really Jeff trying to get the 18 car Kyle Busch up out of the way. Pushing on that left side again. Yeah, he's just working on him, Michael. He, Kurt, uh, Kyle was blocking, and Jeff was trying to get him loose and get him up out of the way, and he just uh, got on the left side and spun him out. Look at the job Ambrose and Boyer did coming through there. And there's our buddy old Brad Keselowski. We ain't seen him up front all night. He's fixing <laughs> to restart with a chance to win this baby. Yeah, well, I asked Jerry, Larry, I said, is Brad Keselowski in this race? Well, yeah. Jeff Gordon's car went about 1,000 feet on the driver's door before it barrel rolled to a stop. Yeah. Yeah, Brad Keselowski in that too. He's in that backup car. You see Jeff down there. He just gets down on his left corner, and we've seen that time and time and time again. You got to stay off the left side. What do we do about that, though, man? How do we fix it? The drivers just have to make the decision that they've got to lay off that left side. Look at this long slide for Gordon, and that's Kurt Busch tangled up with him and Jimmy Johnson, and that car still hasn't uh, lost much of its momentum as it goes side over side and comes to rest Michael on made its roof. A really good point though, Mike. These cars are so much bigger than the cars were five years ago. With the safety innovations that NASCAR has built into these cars, the drivers moved over to the center of the car six inches further than ever before. The roll cage is bigger. That's a, that really helped Jeff Gordon in that situation. Uh, he's able to handle something like that and walk away. Jeff was just really working hard on, on the back of that 18 car, trying to move him up the hill so he could get by. And the type of bump drafting you used to be able to do at Daytona yep. is problematic tonight for big crashes. I feel so bad for Kurt Busch, second car of the weekend. There are the cars involved in the wreck, and we heard Richard Childress talking about what might lead up to something like this. Whole damn deal, as long as they let them push in the corners, they're going to wreck. It's going to cost everybody a ton of money. He owns four cars entered in the Daytona 500 and said that before this latest crash. I think I'm correct. I heard this today, and Larry, you may know for a fact, but in the ARCA race, they would not, they said no pushing. No, you can't get by, up on anybody in the corners. In the corners. In the ARCA race. From ground level. As Jeff Gordon slid a thousand feet on the driver's door, and then the rest of that car's energy dissipated in a series of barrel rolls before landing on its roof. Dick Bergren with Jeff Gordon. Okay, Jeff Gordon has emerged from the medical center with a smile on. What a wild ride. What precipitated all that? Well, you know, it's just uh, getting down to the end of the race, time to go. And uh, me and Jimmy were looking good there. You know, we knew those guys were coming. And, and once uh, Kyle got in front of me, I'm just trying to, you know, keep Jimmy on me and, and try to stay with Kyle. Every time I got to Kyle's bumper, he's just started getting so sideways like, like he was a lot tonight. And, and uh, I thought he was going to wreck. I saw him start to spin, so I went to go wide, not knowing that somebody had got to my outside. That turned me into those guys in the wall, and, 
along for a ride we went uh, and then Collins that went in the race so uh, pretty pretty wild and crazy way to uh, get it all started certainly exciting finish for the race so I'm excited about that but not the way our driving in hunger Chevrolet wants to get the 2012 season started so many crashes tonight even more than would be expected for the Budweiser shootout what is going on well, the difference now is, you know, we're still bump drafting. We just can't do it, uh, you know, for long periods of time. So now we're doing it in packs. And so, you know, you get on the straightaway, you push a little bit. And, and once the tires get a little bit heat in, heat in them and, and, you know, the cars just start. And we have less downforce. So the cars are moving around a lot. So you got to be real careful with how you push and, and when you push. And, and you know, it, it's definitely going to take some patience. Um, but I was having a blast out there. Our car was awesome. You know, we had a car that could win this race. And so that, that's got me excited about tomorrow and for next week. First time ever upside down in a stock car. Hope to see you not do that ever again.